came here just a couple weeks ago. This looked really bare. There are no little leaves like this out on there. They just look like brown sticks. But look at it now. What they thought they raked back. It's nature's coming back. The holly's still here. Even though they plucked and pruned at it. It's repairing itself. The ivy coming up. Everything's looking bright. Look at all these lovely buds. They left to cut it all again. They cut all this down. Off these, and they're growing back. They left, they've got the work cut out. I tell you, they, they thought we had it all scrugged back, you know. Where you, look, it's all grown, grown over the top, what they cut. You can still see the outline of the ditches, though. Look that bottle I got in my bag, that old bottle weighs a bloody ton. <sighs> yeah, this is all part of the hill, all these humps and bumps from all the hill fort. You can still see it, obviously you can see it better when they've cut back, but it's all growing again. All this, you could see the stones not long ago. Everything's green again, look. Hello plant, look, they never got you. All growing, all this bank here. It's all been cut and strimmed. As fast as they cut now, and then not supposed to be doing any cutting, by the way. I think they've eased up a bit. They're still doing a bit, though. Yeah, they are. They're still doing a bit. God, you can smell the wild garlic here. I've had a really good walk. I found an old bottle. I don't know how old yet, but it's old. I found um, a couple of cutting tools. I reckon uh, one of them is um, a little cut, a cutting tool. Easy. You put your hand finger on there and you cut with this bit. That is really sharp. And I got a, a bit a piece of stone. So I like the shape of which could sit like that to remind me of that cave I got this from the cave entrance it's my little reminder of um, my adventures here because I mean I'm gonna be 17 next year and I've just been climbing up the face of the north wood and uh, just taking my time actually here we go the woods disappearing over there it's just disappearing um, I, I just reckon they're cutting stuff down I'm sure there were tall trees there once I'm sure there were it just looks depleted over there depleted you're just gonna get kids out here boys making bonfires. Next they'll be putting their bikes up here and all that. It ain't going to be protected. It was more protected when it was left alone. Now it's more accessible. Right, the main path up that way is also where the tool shed is for the clearers. Um, I'm just going to have a gentle walk back this way. the lower path. It's four o'clock now so there won't be quite as many people out now. Hi Holly Tree, glad you survived so far darling. Like I said it's the main path up there and um, I'm just doing a little bit of video in along here. Spring, it's spring now. You can hear the birds twittering. There's the old wall down there. I'm, I'm up on a higher wall. I'll join that wall again in a minute. These paths, you, could, you hardly knew this path was here in the past. But because of the Covid and the herds of people coming out for exercise, they've all widened. They've all widened.
I'm having cod steaks in parsley sauce with jacket potato tonight. And peas. I'm having some pretty bois. Oh. Right. There's some fungi things there. There's a concrete path over there. Uh, which is handy for people with push chairs, uh, motorised disabled vehicles. I haven't wandered down this. There's new paths arriving that I haven't really explored actually. There's lots of paths I haven't explored here. Oh. But, of course, winter's the best time to explore because um, everything is going to go absolutely crazy. We're supposed to be getting warm weather very, very soon. I'm off track. Look at that lovely wibbly-wobbly tree there. Yeah, I haven't videoed this for ages. I've got so many wood walks that are just on disc at the moment. Um, some I share, I share snippets, this, for example I've got that one I did where I'm climbing where I'm climbing up the uh, cliff and all that and you near know, to, to the little cave I'm for I'm, I'll probably get that one done because that's um, discovery new stuff now, if I'd followed on down through there, I think I would have come to the path further down. But I'll follow, I'm following on this one at the moment. Might take me back to the concrete path. I do tend to forget sometimes where I am in the wood, believe it or not. Oh, I can see the wall now. I'll be going down through Grove Park. Then down past the spa, get myself a bottle of Prosecco for dinner tonight. And then I'll, um, yeah, we could go over here now actually and get on the path. And then I'll walk it back up along the promenade. I hope it doesn't pour with rain because I've got all my washing out. These are all places where people camp. A lot of, a lot of people camp are homeless. In these sort of spots here. Lovely places for kids to play as well, but if you know everyone isn't is dodgy as well, you know what I mean. Um, I should come out by the wall path any second now. I think I can get through this way. I don't know, this might be the bit that was blocked. Now look at that view, everyone. That's fantastic, isn't it, of Weston? That's a really good view. It's so good, I'm going to turn off and take a picture. Right, when I do come to do the videos, put them all together, I need to join some up. Otherwise, they suddenly sort of cut off because I'm taking photos. And you think, oh, got to wait, and then you have to suddenly come in somewhere, you know. <sighs> I think I cut up by this log. This is not the most direct route back, by the way. There's quicker ways, like the concrete path. Right, all I'm going to do is cut through because if you, otherwise you've got to go all the way down there and then go like that. So I'm doing a bit of a shortcut. Feels like it's going to pour a rain in a minute. I pour washing, half of it will be dry. 
But it's had a good blow. It won't matter if it has a bit of rainwater on it. It'll soften it. I can see the concrete path, actually. I can see it over there. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. over there let's take us back down to the path again we just cut out a chunk over there that's all we should we cut out a right angle now I can see the wall again I can see the fence again once we're by the fence, that means we're in the quarry area. Western's Town Quarry. Which is uh, basically a part of the hill fort, really. Uh, Victorians used a load of the, the stone from the hill fort. There's another little den in there, look. If you look carefully. Someone's made a little shelter there. So you don't know who's out. At night, you, you know, you're going to get groups of boys, more than likely, young men, that will come up here and drink and smoke and probably have a fire, barbecue. That's the way I would have gone, come out. So I've cut a bit out. I feel quite pleased that I found a bottle and I managed to climb up the hillside to find that cave bit. So I'm quite pleased with that. I like to achieve different discoveries in the wood when I can. <sighs> yeah, it's quite quiet today. But it's later, once you get to four o'clock, and most people have gone. When I first came, there was quite a few people either leaving or coming in the wood. And then... Um, Yeah, down there is all the all the quarry behind that this fence. That's where the quarry is. I mean, I can spend hours up here. You know, I've been out three hours already because I had to walk across town. Don't forget. <sighs> because of COVID, it's not safe really to go on buses. Not just because of the COVID, but you can get fined up to two hundred quid and more. If you haven't got good reason to be on it, well, they don't seem to take into account age. If I want to go for a local walk, you're allowed to drive places, but half the buses are empty anyway. It has restricted a lot of people. I remember people a lot older than me that just used to go out on the bus to Sand Bay just for the ride, just to get out. For those people who have no transport or no other way, who have limited mobility, you really have. What's worse, you know, I think basically everyone should get vaccinated and you can't go on the buses unless you have been done. And as for these people that are exempt, they're so cocky. All the ones I've met, they think they're special. They think, because they're exempt, they won't get it. <sighs> they really annoy me, you know, because they're not even nice with it. You know, I met a whole family the other day. There were five of them, if not six. None of them had masks on. It was when I had to get my jab and I had to get a bus. And they were noisy, they caused trouble on the bus, they had no masks on. It was mainly older people on the bus, and this very, very noisy, aggressive family got on. I think it should be absolutely compulsory on the buses, masks. And if you can't wear one, 
don't get on the bus. Sorry, you just can't come on it. Most people ain't going to kill you having the mask on for 20 minutes or 10 minutes. It's just annoying me, really. There's lots of people who've got asthma. I get, I've got, I have occasional, well, more than occasional breathing difficulties. I hate the mask, but I hate COVID more. It's very muddy here. I wasn't expecting this. I am expecting to be covered in mud, though, because on occasions I had to sit down when I was climbing up the side of the hill in the mud to stop me slipping. Looks like it's going to bloody bucket down. I don't even know if I'll get home in time to save me washing. I don't know if I will. It doesn't really matter. It would have had a blow. It would have had a bit of airing. Um, so, right, so here we are, folks. Going down towards Grove Park in a minute. Leaving the wood. I use this route to come up and go down many, many times. Um, I've used it many, many times. Right, I'm going to turn off now and have some chocolate and a drink. Over and out. <laughs>